Hello, I'm back in Malta after five months and I arrived in Malta today and we've had a lot of things taken to Malta uh, in my absence which have been received and unpacked and I have about a hundred pictures to go through in a few bits and pieces and uh, I got here at midday, had lunch and a few drinks and now I'm going to just have a little play with some broken items just to glue them up just to make a start because um, I don't have to really have any put any thought into gluing so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these items here so these come from England I posted them myself this came from from England this cost 20 pounds from England uh, this this was posted from a sale room I bought it in uh, Canterbury I think it cost about a hundred and 50 pounds perhaps to post from England. So that needs gluing as well. These are for our, for our Angelico pictures. I like them, I've got lots of them. I'm not selling many at the moment, I don't mind admitting. I don't really want to. I want to have a large collection of them. So what we're gonna do with these items, glue them. We're gonna use this glue. This is hide glue, as in skin. It comes in granular form. There is Ordinary hide glue and there is rabbit's hide glue. This is rabbit's hide glue, which is more sticky. And I will use that. So what I did, I put a scoop in a cup. I put some water in it. I microwaved it for 30 seconds and I let it sit. So what we're going to do now is stir this hide glue. It's very hot. It is nearly totally dissolved and I'm going to stick together this cherub which got broken from England. The cherub is a fitting from a wardrobe or a piece of furniture. It's basically a sort of Rococo style piece of wood, probably from the 1920s. And I need to glue the arms on. I'm not going to use a clamp, I'm not going to use anything special, I'm going to just glue it on and I'm going to use pressure only. So this hide glue has the rather strange quality of hardening when it cools. It doesn't harden when it dries. It's a different sort of glue to what you might expect. So I put it in the place. I can feel it's in the right place. Um, I'm going to move it slightly to get it just dead right. And the glue cools and hardens and stiffens. It does cure and dry ultimately, but it is the cooling which makes it stick. That's stuck on. And the tiny flakes of gesso where the gilding is chipped, I will colour at another stage. And this will be sold in a cell room in Malta or I will sell it myself on my website. That's good enough, that's, that's stuck. I'm going to glue on this toe. The toe gives the item support, so I can't have it so it has any load on it. So I have to do it in midair, so to speak. So we'll put some glue on that piece there. There are not, every piece missing is not present, so I'm only sticking on the bits that came with it. And I'm again feeling for the grip point. That is now in the right place visually and it feels tight, that's gluing. That's hide glue, it is cooling, it is now gripping. It's done. Okay, next piece. There is a toe. The toe is from there, right, let's do it. Bit of glue. Okay, that's in the right place. It's fit snugly. The pine carcass has split nicely and it goes on really well. That does not need any touching up. That is back exactly where it should be. Again, I can let go of that, it's perfect. Okay, another piece. We have a scroll foot I'm going to glue on. This goes here. Yeah. 
I mean, you might say it's not very interesting looking at these gl gluing jobs, but it's what, I, what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna double glue it, meaning I glue on both sides. If I hang around, this hide glue will set and it will not join, so I have to do it fast. And I'm gonna move it in. That side is on. That side is, is on now. And again, I have to, this one is more complicated. Not, not going in as easily. Okay, I think it's gone in now. I'm going to let it hang, let it uh, cool, and it will suddenly stop moving. I'm going to wipe the excess off as I go, which will fill the, the grooves. It's not quite there; it's nearly there. I'm putting pressure on it because I want the gaps to close. The other parts that are missing I'm going to leave because there's too many and they are feet and fingers, toes and fingers are too difficult to carve and I will sell this as it is. I think that, that repair is done, that hide glue has, has taken and I'll show you. It's ad adequate. Right, so that's done. That's all dry. Now we're going to do this uh, pair of for our Angelicos. They come from England, I bought them in the sale room. They're getting expensive in England, I would hate to say. They are, they've been cheap for 20 years and they have just started to get expensive in the last six months. So I'll take the stickers off and I will examine the bits of breakage. The primary breakage I'll do, I won't be able to do it all in one go because you have to let it dry sometimes to uh, do a bit at a time. So what have we got? We've got Flor and Findel, Florence, Picture Dealers, number five, something room. So it's an anglicised Italianate description with a tablet in a Florentine frame. Number seven, Flora and Findel, Picture Dealers, Florence, Flora Angelico. I can't read what it says here. It's lost a lot of the trim. This is added to make it hang straight because of the thickness of the pins which have been used to hang it. These things are incredibly beautiful. They are not originals. They're not original Flora Angelicos. They are copies. They date from 1850 to 1910, and in, in, in most cases of the size, the gold leaf, meaning real gold, water gilded. Okay, I haven't seen these in the flesh. I bought them on the internet, so I haven't sent them off. We'll look at the, the damaged part, parts and see if we can stick them on. We have a turned column. I won't apply it because I have another one spare and I will set them when they're when I have both in front of me because there will be optimal places for them. So I'll leave that. This one is mitered moulding, which has come from there. I think I can put that back because it's behind the other trim and I will just use one piece of glue, hide glue. And I'll stick it in. I've got it the right, right way round. I've been careful to get the right way round, checking it to the right place because I have to add the side bits. It has to be overhanging the tablet. So I think if I put it there, it'll be okay. Somewhat imprecise, but that's the nature of the business. These things do not warrant a professional restorer. Oh, I found another column, so I can probably do them. There are piece, pieces missing. I could make them myself out of pine, and I can gild them myself. 
if I want to. I will do it in pieces, in stages. And in the end, these will look brand new. Not brand new, they'll look um, marketable. That goes there. That doesn't, it goes there. Right, so I need to put that on there. I can't because the trim's missing. I can't do that one either. The, the, the column base is missing. I can't glue them. They're a bit tatty these, I must confess. I don't know what that is. I don't believe that is part of the product. This is one of the uh, bottom bits from here, I think. Mm. I'm not sure how it goes on. Let's go there. I think so. I'll put them on, it's easy. Glue is still warm and it will take still, so I'll stick this, stick this little finial, finial on. Um, I can't sit, uh, there is a back actually, that piece is blank on that side and is moulded on the other side. I'll put the, bl the blank piece on the back. I want to get it straight. The, the hide glue is very forgiving and will make up gaps. And uh, I think that's okay. The hide glue will, will set. I can gild over the top of the dried hide glue. I'm gonna leave that standing up because it won't sag. If I leave it standing up, that's done. So what I've been showing you is this incremental gluing and repair with hide glue, which is animal skin glue. You can see it's rather strange stuff. When it dries and sets and cures, it is incredibly, incredibly hard and uh, versatile. And it is a primitive glue, it's not a modern glue. And it would have been available to uh, people through the ages uh, as I say, the process of hardening is cooling, not drying. It's a, diff it's a different discipline to normal glue. Dirt cheap, it's made of animal skin, boiled animal skin. So you can see what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a rather lovely product. When the other parts are dry, I will go over and add the remaining sections bit by bit, like a puzzle. And then I can make the missing parts some of the missing parts I won't make, I'll leave. I'll make the principal bits and colour them appropriately and, then, and we'll have another pair to add to the collection. I'm going to sell these in five or six years because I think they're going to go up by about three times. Um, I'm buying as many, as many sets as I can. Okay, thank you.